The Aviators was made possible by... When the unexpected happens, the Lifesaver provides one hour of emergency attitude reference, giving you the time you need to land safely. In a mission's darkest moment, trust Mid-Continent Instruments. Now for the first time on TV, the stories and reports of the people who fly and the aircraft they fly. And you are invited in an exciting, pulse-pumping new television series designed for everyone who has ever gazed skywards and dreamt of slipping the bonds of Earth. The Aviators. This week on The Aviators, we explore an exciting way to buy and sell aircraft. Aircraft auctions. Curtis learns all about ultralight aviation. Underneath the radiator, there's a great big white canister. Can you explain what that's all about? And we visit the air capital of the world, Wichita, Kansas. From the Boundary Bay Airport, this is The Aviators. Buying a used airplane can either be very rewarding or a very bad experience. Used aircraft in good condition can be picked up for a fraction of the cost of their factory new counterparts. The problem is knowing what lies beneath that aluminum skin and engine cowling. A low sticker price could be nothing more than the start of a string of expenses associated with repairs and maintenance. But for someone willing to put in the time and money, a used aircraft can be a real gem. While auctions have been used successfully in marketing high-end classic cars, the auction is a relative newcomer to aircraft sales. At Sun and Fun, the entire Aviators team was on hand for an aircraft auction. Today we're going to show you some of the great bargains and real lemons that were up for bids. Announcing the auction is Curtis Arnold and Sarah Rapenda, and our man on the ground is Aviators producer and director John Lovelace, who's been around aircraft for three decades. So this is at Sun and Fun, and the name of the company that started this new auction idea is called Flight Level. And their intention is to conduct these auctions at major aviation events around the United States as an alternate method or an alternate means to procure aircraft for future owners and as an alternate means for selling. Before the bidding got started, we had a chance to talk to one of the auction organizers, Wesley Lutz. First time. Started the company the first of this year. We've got uh, four auctions scheduled for the year. This is the first here at Sun and Fun. We were uh, fortunate enough to work with the Sun and Fun people to uh, put on a nice venue. Well, we've, we have private individuals that were coming to Sun and Fun that have listed aircraft. We have a couple brokers that have brought aircraft in. Uh, I think the furthest one we have is maybe Oregon. We've got an aircraft from Oregon. Uh, this eastern part of the United States, heavily represented. Well, we've got a CJ-3, a CJ-1. We've got some jets, some uh, pretty big aircraft. We've got some expensive aircraft. We've got buyers from Germany. We've got buyers from South America. So what we're looking at here is a 1984 Cessna 172. More than 10,000 Cessna 172s have been built since the design was conceived in the 1960s. Uh, 1984, this one looks pretty, pretty good, but uh, there's one problem. It's got over 13,000 hours, 1,300 hours on the engine, so it's pretty much uh, run out engine-wise time, maybe another three, 400 hours. Whether it's good mechanically, that's up to the buyer to find out. So we've got the auction started now. Rick, the auctioneer, is up there doing his thing. We've got a bid of $25,000 on it. I wonder, I wonder what you think this might go for this evening. I don't know, if in an ideal world, maybe 45? What do you think about that? I think that's a lot of money for a high time airframe like that. 11,000 hours is a lot of time on this airframe. So they're $27,500, looking for $30,000 now. And they're just sliding it out of the way. Yeah. Like there's some good bidding going on. Sounds like the owner's looking for something a little bit north of $30,000 out of that airplane. I bought it, I got it home, I live near Miami, I had no idea it was going to cost to hanger it, $856 for a tea hanger, and my wife is not happy with that. And what we have on stage now is a Belonka Super Viking. This is widely regarded in the aviation community as being a great value airplane to purchase. It's fast, it'll go 200 miles an hour on the 300 horsepower engines under there. So in terms of miles an hour per thousand dollars you have to spend on an airplane, these are very good value. Yeah, 
this aircraft was manufactured by the Belonka Aircraft Corporation. They're well known as the makers of the Belonka Champ, Satabri, and Decathlon lines of airplane. They had expert woodworkers and they had expert welders. What will you take? Uh, my, my protect is 35,000. Well, we're at uh, 29,000 right now. It looks like they're about to close the bidding soon. They're pulling the aircraft away. So could you uh, could you negotiate with the guy here? But you're not going to well, do that. that. That's what the uh, auctioneer is talking about. Here the next one up is a. Uh, 1961. Well, we'll see what happens. Uh, yeah. So our next aircraft that we've got here, nice bright yellow. Yeah, this is a Piper Comanche 250. This is a, a strange set of numbers here because it's an older airplane, 1961. So uh, basically 50 years old, but it's only got about 3,000 hours on it. So uh, that's a pretty good combination when you get a, that old an airplane with 3,000 hours. Engine, probably it's working on its second engine, 1,300 hours. Could be a great buy inside a brand new paint job. Looks pretty good, sharp looking airplane. So they've started the bidding. Oh, they've just received a bid. What was that bid for? That was bid for $40,000. We got a problem right here. As you can see, this just snapped off. Not going to be a good sign. Will the damaged landing gear stop the Comanche from selling? Will anything sell? We're going to be back to sun and fun later as there's still tons of great aircraft on the auction block. The Aviators, for everyone who has ever gazed skywards, for more information on today's segments, visit www.theaviators.tv.